and the great dragon was cast out, that serpent of old called the devil and Satan, who deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out onto the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Revelation 12, 9. This is the second part to my Aliens or Fallen Angels video. Check out my first one here before or after you watch this one so you understand this video more. I will use scripture to prove my claims as always. This video will be about a different race of so-called aliens. But a brief disclaimer before we begin, there are several races of angels, and not all of them are bad angels. However, this video will be about one of the worst races of these beings. I personally even believe Satan himself is one of these beings, and I'll touch on this in more depth later. This race is known as the Reptilians. I will explain the Reptilians in more detail, and also how Satan is potentially one of the highest ranked Reptilians. The Reptilians are a demonic class of highly advanced Reptilian humanoids. They walk bipedal as a human would, but outwardly they have a reptile-type look to them. They are capable of shape-shifting, and it is even believed they are amongst humans as we speak, particularly in high positions controlling society from the shadows. People think this due to several first-hand accounts of actually seeing these beings, and even seeing their human appearance wearing off on live TV. The idea of reptilians was popularized by David Icke, who claims shape-shifting reptilian aliens control Earth by taking on human form and gaining political power to manipulate human societies. Icke has stated on multiple occasions that many world leaders are, or are possessed by, reptilians. However, not only was this race said to exist by David Icke, the Russian government themselves has a secret book that speaks about all of these so-called alien races. It says there are currently thousands of non-human entities on Earth with us right now. And the Bible also tells us this, which validates this to be true. The Bible says that God casted the fallen angels to Earth. That would explain why we see all of these UFOs. In my previous video regarding this subject, I explained how the chariots of fire talked about in the Bible are actually what we now call UFOs. We can even see the reptilians on ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs. They establish colonies in a binary star system known as Alpha Draconis. These beings have a strong hatred for humans because they believe the Earth belongs to them. The reptilians are even a part of a secret planned invasion to retake the Earth right before humanity becomes an advanced interstellar civilization, according to this secret book. One thing I must note is there were a class of angelic beings known as the Anunnaki that manipulated our DNA and turned us into a hybrid species. That isn't just in this secret book. It is biblical that angelic beings manipulated human DNA. The Anunnaki are also mistaken for so-called aliens. This put us humans in the eyes of several other angelic races since they realized we will one day also be an advanced species ourselves and be able to join what is known as the Intergalactic Federation. The former president of the United States, Donald Trump, planned on openly telling the public about the Intergalactic Federation, but was told not to because the Federation believed we aren't ready just yet. The Federation is basically a collection of several human and non-human beings that protect humans against other non-human threats, such as protecting humanity against beings such as the reptilians. One thing I must mention is how the public has been predictively programmed to get conditioned to actually see these non-human beings since 1947, when there was an alleged UFO crash in Roswell, New Mexico. Predictive programming is a strategy used by the government to show the truth in films, shows, and other things that the public consumes in order to get the public to subconsciously accept something or to prepare the public for something to come. This was done several times on shows such as The Simpsons. They aren't predicting anything. It's simply the elite's way of showing the public what's to come. So when it does come, you've already seen it and you've already been conditioned to accept things such as aliens as being a possibility. One thing I do when hearing stories like this is I make the comparisons between the story and the Bible. And the Bible mentions how God and his angels protects humanity as well. Then I begin to question if we have the wrong idea on what angels actually look like. I covered this much deeper in my first video. 
With the reptilians, there appears to be some kind of ranking. The regular green-skinned reptilians are the lower-ranked, while the highest-ranked reptilians are known as the Alpha Draconians, and they are white-skinned reptilians that have wings. Let me explain how Satan himself is possibly one of these beings. Throughout the Bible, Satan is constantly called a reptile-like being, either being called a serpent or a dragon. As I've explained, the Alpha Draconians have wings, reptile-like skin, and they just overall look like what we'd call a dragon. So was the Bible explaining a reptilian being when the appearance of Satan was described? I personally think so because of the fact there are UFOs described in the Bible and overall non-human entities that if we seen today, we'd mistakenly call them aliens. How impossible is it that what we call aliens are actually fallen angels? I personally believe if something adds up, then it is the truth. And so-called aliens, being angels, adds up. Wake up before it is too late. We are entering the great deception where people are turning away from God to worship the stars and false gods, just like the days of old.